Okay, we're going to look at place value. As you can see, we're doing place value all the way up to the millions, to the hundred millions even. Okay, now every group of three numbers is called a period. Now, I'm not going to go into this too much, but just know that your ones, tens, and hundreds, those are in your ones period. Then after your hundreds goes your thousands. So your thousands, ten thousands, hundreds, thousands. That's your thousands period. And after that, your millions. Ten millions and hundred millions. That's your millions period. Now in most numbers, what you'll find is you'll have a comma separating each of your periods. Okay. Now in this case, I put an arrow right here. Now I can look and I can tell that it's the third number over. It's the it's in the hundreds place. Okay. Now, how much is it worth though? Is it just worth eight? No. Eight groups of hun of a hundred or eight hundreds is worth eight hundred. One way to tell is if you look at all the digits that come after it, there needs need to be zeros in that place to tell you how much that digit right there is worth. So this eight in the hundreds place is worth eight hundred. Now the next one is right here. It's in the thousands period, but it's the second number in the thousands period. It's the fifth digit over ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So it's in the ten thousands place. Now since there's two groups of ten thousand, that is ten, or sorry, two, we need a zero in the thousands place, zero in the hundreds, zero in the tens, zero in the ones. Oops. And that is 20,000. Oops, I don't want to appear. I want a. Okay. Which makes sense because 2 in the tens place would be 20. Well, 2 in the 10 thousands place is 20,000. All right. Now let's look at this next one. It's all the way over here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's the seventh digit over. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, into the millions period. Millions. Okay, so I have a two in the millions place. It's actually kind of easier than the last one even. It's two million. Okay. We separate every period with a comma. So every three in the digits, there needs to be a comma. Okay? And look, after the millions place, there's one, two, three, four, five, six digits. So it's worth, there's zeros after for each of those. So six zeros. So two in the millions place is equal to two million. This one right here, it's right. Oh, this is. This is stuff we learned back in maybe even first grade even. Okay, it's the second one over. Ones, tens. And eight in the tens place. If I have eight groups of ten, that's going to be 80. And look, there's one digit that comes after the tens, so there's one zero after. Eight tens makes 80. We'll do one more. It's way up here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, and ten millions. We're the second digit in the millions period. That's ten millions. And there's a five in the ten millions place. So I'm going to put my five and my zero. And that's the end of the millions period. So I'm going to put a comma right there. And there's three more zeros to the thousands period. And I'm going to put a comma right there. And three more zeros for the ones period. So a five in the ten millions place is fifty millions. Sorry, fifty million. All right. So remember, we go from the ones to the thousands to the millions period. 
between each period we put a comma and if we're trying to find out the value of the digit well we put that digit there and then every digit that comes after it is going to be a zero so this five in the ten millions place is worth fifty million